In this video, I'll show you how to create a back in stock notifier on your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. So for example, this particular product here is out of stock and we're displaying this opt-in form here. So they can enter in their email address, enter in the amount of quantities that they need for this particular product, and then just sign up to be notified for when it's back in stock. All right. We can display the sign up form in a pop-up format, or we can display it via a toggle. So we can say something like notify me, and then we can show the form fields. All right. So let's imagine we've submitted our form details in the back end the admin will see a list of all the users that are waiting for a particular product and then once it's in stock they can just go ahead and send out that email and then that particular customer will be notified that the product's back in stock and then they can go ahead and purchase the particular product all right so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store i'll leave a link to this particular plugin in the description below it's free and with that being said let's get straight into it so we'll be using the WooCommerce waitlist plugin, which is this one here. Let's install and activate it. Let's navigate over to WC waitlist. And then we just need to go ahead and configure our opt-in form. So we've got a few options. We can show it in a pop-up inline or in an inline toggle. So I'm going to show mine inline. All right, we'll enable it for guest users. And it's up to you if you want to show it on a shop page. You can also show it on backwater products as well. So let's enable this for now. And then here we can customize the text, all right? So let's hit save changes. All right, so now we'll just click on email. And in here we can choose um, which email we'll be sending this message from. We can choose the name as well. All right, we can choose our logo. And right, we can show the product image. Okay, and then this is up to you. So before actually sending them a notification, letting them know that the product is in stock, maybe you want to double check that the product is in stock before sending it. And then we can customize the subject line, heading, and then the content of it, all right? And we can choose the call to action as well. And then here they've got a few dynamic tags in which you can use. So we can add this into the content as well. Okay, so let's hit save changes. Let's go ahead and check this out on the front end. So I'm going to navigate over to products. Let's go ahead and set this product to out of stock. All right, let's view this product. Okay, and since this is out of stock, here we've got our email notifier opt-in form, all right? We can add our email here, and then we can specify the number of quantities in which we need for this particular product. That we can click email when available. All right, perfect. All right, so the customer successfully requested it to be notified when this is back in stock. So let's go ahead and actually put this back in stock and see the entire process, all right? So again, we'll quickly edit this and then we'll set it to be in stock. And now let's navigate back over to WC waitlist and then we'll click on users. All right. And then here we'll see the list of users waiting for a particular product. So for example, here we can go ahead and view it. All right. We can see when they joined and also their email address. Let's head back over to users and let's just click send email. Okay. And that email has been sent fine. And then when we check our email here, we can see our email notification. All right. And then we can just go ahead and purchase this particular product. So there's some styling issue. And that's mainly because the logo in which I uploaded is huge. So it's just putting off the entire styling. So just make sure um, whatever image you use, whether it's a banner or a logo, just make sure it's sized appropriately so you don't experience this issue as well. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.